So, I mean, I think the people already know what we're doing here, but what are we doing here? Uh, seeing if we built a bomb. <laughs> In this case, it's just going to be like a, a water balloon, boop, if we did, but find out. So we're at the same facility that you bought the vessel from. I didn't buy the vessel, I bought rolled up tubing. You yeah. Clarified, so we don't <laughs> hold Mars liable in any way, shape, or form. Okay, sorry, yes. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, I, got the, I got the tank rolled from Mars, they fit the lid, they joined it. And we put 160 hours into welding. And we're gonna see if it pays off. So yeah, as you saw us struggle trying to get things on and off the lift, they, they kind of have some stuff to make it a lot easier to move this thing. So I think he said the first thing that they're gonna do is an air test. So they're gonna do an air test first to see, I think they're gonna use soap and water to see if there's any, any leaks. After that, then they're gonna do the water test and that is gonna take a couple hours to fill the sucker full of water and we'll go from there. air test they put 20 pounds in it check for leaks uh, the lid either loosened up uh, or ugadugas are not a legit tightening unit <laughs> so, <laughs> torque unit but it's good now thankfully it tightened down so now they're filling with water uh, because I don't want a bunch of holes in the in the vessel uh, we only have the air inlet which is half inch NPT which is a, just over half inch so yeah, tiny guy. I don't know you guys do the math, but with, you know, we got to fill it slow because we don't have a bunch of vet tubes. So we're going to come back tomorrow because it's going to be filling all day. It's like 1,100 gallons. So uh, come back tomorrow, we'll throw pressure at it. Uh, I don't know if Mitch will come or not, but we'll figure it out. I'll be there. Um, the heating elements, they do seem to leak a little bit. I'm not worried about it because, I mean, they're infinitesimal. As long as they don't spray water everywhere and screw up their shop, that's my concern. Um, yeah, pretty pumped so far, and then hopefully the damn thing holds pressure. So, no other leaks in any of the welds or anything, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so super fun. Sweet. All right, we'll continue the, uh, hopefully the continue the good streak into tomorrow. To tomorrow. Yep. Day two. All right, so it's full. Yep. And we're getting ready to put pressure to it. Then you're plugger in. <laughs> Film. Yeah, film with that. Yell out the pressures. I'll go over there. Zero! <laughs> One! Leaking! No! <laughs> I hope not. So compared to putting air into this, to test the pressure with water, how long does that normally take? About the same. About the same time? Yeah, okay. Shouldn't, it'll take a minute for it to start building up because there's air and, and and then it'll go fast once it gets up to say, you know, 30 pounds, it'll go real fast to 50. And so we're testing to 50? Yep. Okay. I was about to say, for those of you guys who don't know, this took probably nine hours, nine hours to fill up with water? Yes, through yeah. a less than half inch port. <laughs> the valve breaks it, or goes down to probably three sixteenths. I was about to say, and it takes a while. It's 1,100 gallons, I think, is what they. Yeah, that's what Cody said. Yeah, that's. Right. Yeah, I think I ran the math. 1,100 gallons. <laughs> so, how are you feeling about it? Um, my heart's beating. I just don't want to make a mess. I'm not worried about anybody getting hurt. We're at 30, 40, 45, 46, 48. Stop. Yeah. It, it only went to 37 and a half and you put 42 in it, you got a very expensive boat anchor. Oh, really? That's what he would tell oh, me. Oh, gotcha. That could be overstressed it. Yep. So now this has to sit at pressure for well, how long? It if it's going to leak, it's probably going to leak right away. Gotcha. But yes, it could take a little bit. You know, we're rolling around and look at all these seams. 
Would that be a Don dish soap kind of thing? Or could, would water just be stealing? Water, I mean, uh, water would steal it. Yeah, I mean, Don is only going to react with air. Do you need to change your underwear yet? I thought it would leak by now. <laughs> leak it out of the uh, plant a little bit. The mechanical joint there, but that's. I will leave it. Fix that later. Well done. Yeah. Every tank we freaking hydro has mechanical joint. We kind of really hard to convey how much pressure, no pun intended is on with this just because he's had so much riding on it it's going to possibly help us with so many jobs in the future so i'm surprised he's just not scatterbrained or if he is he's holding it in really well so this is really cool to be a part of and actually see this experience and see how well it does so held 50 pounds for over 30 minutes 45, 45 minutes no leaks yeah didn't build a bomb Woohoo! so crack it Uh, couple pounds. So from here, it's now going to drain all the way out. Go outside. I think they said it was going to be probably about eight hours around there. So yeah, just as long as it took to fill with water, it's going to take out. You guys, it didn't blow up. Kind of knocked something over on my desk there. It's such a huge relief that nothing failed. I mean, there were a couple small little leaks at the beginning, but we just had to tighten down a couple of things and it passed. It took over eight hours to fill up with water. We still haven't even picked it up technically yet because it's still been draining and it's, oh my gosh, now later in the week. Um, but yes, super exciting, super exciting that nothing failed. Everything should be good to go. Now I think he just has to finish up a couple small things, obviously, with uh, actually getting it to be fully functioning autoclave. But that's huge, 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 huge news. So hopefully that means we get to start putting uh, some parts into it and actually seeing how this thing does in real life. So I'm super excited. I know Cody's super excited. Everyone at the shop is super excited. So thank you again to Don Marsh and his guys really helping us out, making sure everything was tested properly. And again, Cody, all of the hard work that you've done, hopefully this is gonna pay off. And I'm excited to see some parts being made and churned out of that thing. So thank you guys again for always watching, viewing, subscribing, sharing, doing everything that you can. I know there's been a lot of controversy about you know him doing this and I, I get it. You know, it's uh, typically not a very safe thing that someone can create, but he did it. So good news for Cody and uh, yeah, here's to the future of making parts out of this thing to hopefully uh, lead us to some victories. Maybe some Pikes Peak victories. So stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.